we know that 90% of the time children are sexually abused by someone they know. 90% of our examples when we're talking to kids should be about people they know. We know that a lot of sexual abuse happens within families. I mean, it might feel really uncomfortable to use grandpa as an example or to use Uncle Bob as an example, but we help kids when we use examples that are the kinds of things that really are riskier for them. One of the games I used to play with my kids a lot was the what if game, and I loved it because you could use that in situations that had nothing to do with child sexual abuse. What would you do if um, somebody knocked at the door and I was in the shower? Um, would you answer it? What would you do? What would you do if you went to school tomorrow and this kid is still sitting on the bus and is still picking on you? And helping kids look at options. You know, what if you're over at your friend's house and her older brother wants you to go in the basement with him? How might you handle a situation like that? But always letting them come up with the options. When children feel like, I thought of that, that's a great answer, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's different than a parent saying, well, you could do this, this, and this. Then when the situation happens, it get, what did she say to do? I can't remember what she said to do. That's so different. It's so different than the kid saying, well, I remember I said I could do this, so you know what, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try it, boom, and they do it. It's so different. And that's about empowerment, because kids who are empowered are oftentimes safer.